I connected my truck to my smart home. Let me show you. Start the truck. Yo, what's up guys? My name is Shane and this channel is all about helping you build an easy Apple Home smart home with new videos and live streams published every week. So I got a new truck recently. The last one was totaled. I still haven't fully recovered from that little experience. Anyways, since this new truck has more capabilities than my last one, the last one was in fact 10 years old, I wanted to see if I could connect this thing to my smart home so I could control it with Siri or use it in my smart home automations. And full disclosure, I really had no intention of making this video, but I shared what I was doing over on Instagram and I got quite a few comments asking for a full YouTube video, so here we are. So today I'll share how I did this, what I'm using, different ways you might be able to do the same thing even with different vehicles, and everything you can do once you do integrate your vehicle into your smart home. But first, let me tell you about today's sponsor, Netgear, and more specifically, their new Orbi 970 series, which is what I've been using here at my house as the foundation for my smart home for the past few months. This thing is insane. It supports quad band technology with an enhanced dedicated backhaul, meaning you'll have great wireless speeds throughout your house. The main router has a 10 gig internet port, 10 gig ethernet port, and four 2.5 multi gig ethernet ports. You can connect up to 200 devices to your network and easily create up to three separate networks, including one specifically for your IoT devices. Obviously, that's one of the features that I really love. So it's great if you're building a smart home, it's great for gaming or for streaming videos up to 8K. Whatever you're trying to do, this thing has you covered. Check out the link in the description for more and big thanks to Netgear for sponsoring today's video and supporting the channel. So the method that I'm using to bring my truck into HomeKit is through HomeBridge. Now, if you're not familiar with HomeBridge, it's basically a lightweight server that you run on your home network that allows you to do a number of things, including adding devices to HomeKit that otherwise don't support it. HomeBridge does this through community built plugins that provide a basic bridge from HomeKit to various third party APIs. You do have to run HomeBridge on some type of hardware such as a Raspberry Pi, a Mac Mini, or in my case, a Synology NAS. Once you have HomeBridge up and running from there, it's just a matter of finding good plugins to help you accomplish whatever you're trying to do. And for me today, that is get my truck into HomeKit. So there's already an app that I can use called the My GMC app, which allows me to lock or unlock the truck, remote start it, and do a few other things. It's using the OnStar service for this. Most Buick, Cadillac, Chevrolet, and GMC vehicles come equipped with OnStar. So I simply did a little research and found that there is an OnStar HomeBridge plugin that I could download and install. Now, if you have a vehicle that doesn't use OnStar, you still may be able to do this just using a different HomeBridge plugin. For example, there's a Uconnect plugin available, which several models of Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, Ram, and Fiat come equipped with. There's a Tesla plugin, Mercedes, Jaguar, Ford, Volvo, and more. So just get out there and search for whatever it is you need. Basically, if you're able to remote start or lock and unlock your vehicle from you know, any type of app on your phone, there's a decent chance you can find a HomeBridge plugin for your vehicle. And once I installed the OnStar plugin, all I had to do was configure it by putting in a name for the vehicle, a device ID, which is just a random string that you can get with an online generator, there's a link to the one that I use in the plugin documentation. Put your vehicle's VIN number, your OnStar username, password, and PIN number. And really that's it for the configuration. Then you just choose which switches you want to show up in HomeKit. The alert switch will sound off the alarm. The charger switch is just for EVs, which mine is not, so I left that unchecked. And there is one for locking and unlocking the vehicle. Hit save and boom, it's all done. So let me take you outside and show you how it actually responds and works with HomeKit. All right, so what I'm gonna do is show you just real quick the response times and everything that I can do since connecting uh, the truck to HomeKit through HomeBridge. Just want you to get an idea for, you know, 
the actual response time. So I have my iPad here. I'm gonna use this to control the truck. So first up, I will just open up the truck accessory here in the home app. And first, I'll show you the remote start. So I'll toggle it on. It's a slight delay, but it's not too bad. All right, so there you go. Turns on just like that. You can turn it off. Same thing with the lock and unlock. So I will unlock it. And you'll see the mirrors open up when the truck unlocks. I can lock it back. And I'll note sometimes there's a delay if it's like the first time you're using the accessory in a while, but that's really not a problem for me because, you know, I usually be using this in automations or when I'm inside the house doing something, getting ready. So it's okay with me, even if there is a little bit of a delay. And lastly, I wanna show you the truck alarm. So this one, there we go. And I'll turn it off. So all those can now be included in my automations. Of course, I can do all those things with Siri or any other way that you control your normal home kit accessories. So you might be asking, all right, so what? Why is this any better than just using the car manufacturer's app? Well, for one, I can now use Siri commands to control the truck, as you saw. I can lock or unlock it, remote start the truck, etc. That could be really helpful. You know, when you're busy getting ready and stuff in the morning, I can now just shout off commands to the HomePod. You know, most of these vehicles don't support Siri shortcuts, but now I can include the truck in my shortcuts just like I can any HomeKit accessory. Possibly one of my favorite uses of this is adding the truck to my action button menu. I can start the truck with a simple press of the action button on my iPhone 15 Pro Max, which I love. Every night I have a going to bed scene that locks all the doors in the house. I've been able to add the truck to that. So now that scene also makes sure the truck is locked as well as the rest of the doors in my house. I can set an automation that remote starts the truck so it warms up every weekday at 7 a.m. but only when the temperature on my eve weather is below 40 degrees. That way the truck is nice and warm when it's time to take the kids to school. Or trigger the car alarm to sound off if the home alarm is ever triggered. Maybe to help deter intruders or notify the neighbors. And that's just some of the things that this OnStar plugin can do. If you have an EV or another vehicle with a different Homebridge plugin, you could potentially do even more things like turn on the charger, turn on the defrost, open the trunk, or turn on the climate control. So I've definitely had some fun integrating my truck into my smart home. And since I now finally, for the first time since starting this channel, actually have a vehicle that is also equipped with CarPlay, let me know if you guys wanna see some videos utilizing CarPlay or my truck with HomeKit or whatever with my smart home shortcuts or automations, anything like that. Thanks again to Netgear for sponsoring today's video. Again, check out that new Orbi 970 series link down below in the description. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.